Hello everyone, my name is Amy Eversall, I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Prairie County Public Library. Welcome to Miss Amy's Favorite Thing, 12 Days of Christmas Edition. And tonight we're gonna to show you how to, by using paint, how to make almost like the um, Ray Dunn inspired ornaments. And here I did this large one and it's real simple. This was a, a plastic one. I'm gonna show you a little bit on a, a smaller ornament because the big ones do take a lot of paint. Um, but a few things that you'll need is ribbon is optional, but you can do some ribbon on there to make you a, a bow at the top. You'll need some, if you're doing like the uh, Ray Dunn inspired ones, you're going to need some white, like a matte white. I have it upside down for a reason to make it easier to uh, come out of my tube into my ornament. So I've got a glass ornament, a smaller one. I got something to drain my paint into. Um, some twine if you want to make a hanger for it and a paint can to write on the outside with it and of course if you're going to uh, cut some ribbon you're going to need some scissors and you would need either some four wire or some chenille stem to maybe the bunch you to make you to secure you a bow if that's what you would like and of course you might need you like a piece of cardboard or an old table cover to protect your surface because you dealing with paint and Miss Amy's a little bit messy so she has to take precautions. So as you can see I've already started pouring a little bit of my paint in there and I'm just going to take my ornament. I've already got the top off of it and I'm just going to add more and more paint. And I'm just going to go around, make sure I get it on all the sides if I can. You may hear my bottle. I'm eking out every little bit of paint it can give me at this point. It should be from there. But, It does take a bit to do these. And I'm going to take the top and put it back in there. Or I'm going to attempt to. And I'm going to begin to shake it. And you'll want to hold it down good. Probably don't paint pointed it directly at your face on the top so you don't risk splashing yourself in case the top comes off or has a hole or something in it of getting paint on you. But just begin to turn it. You can see mine is starting to come down. And I left this one like overnight is how I did that one. Once I got all the paint in there, I continued to shake and roll for a little while until I got it completely covered and left it overnight so I could write on it. I will be back in just a second just to show you how to write on. Okay, I've got it shook. As you can see, it's all covered right there. So I've got my paint pen. I got it ready to go. Of course, you always want to shake it. And depending on what you're going to write, you may want to practice on a scrap piece of uh, cardboard or on some newspaper, whatever you're using, so you can get the hang of writing with it before you put it on your. Um, your surface on your ornament. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write joy. Miss 
I mean, could have wrote it a little better, but you'll get the gist of how to do it. But, and that's basically all you gotta do to it. And if you wanna attach a, a bow to them, you can do that and it's ready to go on your tree just as soon as that dries. And the good thing about the paint pen is it dries pretty fast. And if you do it like it's in real thin, like it looks just like the, the Ray Dunn, like, you know, it's just an imitation. But until next time, for Miss Amy's uh, 12 Days of Christmas, stay safe.